Hi, I'm Steve Patrick with Patrick Mouthpieces, and I want to give you high schoolers a tip today on the best bang for your buck if you just have a few minutes to practice. If you do this uh, every day for just a few minutes, it will keep your chops strong uh, when you think about trying to get through marching band or concert band, just long passages, and you need the endurance, or maybe you're struggling with range. This exercise does a lot of this. And so, um, Let's go. So I'm grabbing a my B flat trumpet and I'm grabbing kind of a classical mouthpiece, not my biggest mouthpiece that I use personally, but not a small mouthpiece. So if you're practicing this for range and, and different things, maybe uh, half the week you want to practice this with your small mouthpiece, half the week you want to practice it with your big mouthpiece. Uh, so this is a kind of a, a 3C cup kind of setup here. You want to go to page 42 of your Arbenz book, right? So the way you're going to practice them is very pretty slowly. I mean, I think they start with whole notes, then half notes, then quarter notes, eighth notes, uh, maybe triplets, 16th, 16th note triplets, something like that. That's progression. But you're doing this for range and, and uh, endurance. So you're going to keep it on your face for a little while. stuck like that don't worry about it this this is kind of your push-ups and sit-ups of, of trumpet playing exercises so you might get stuck on top you might get stuck down on bottom don't worry about it uh, you're not playing a, a concerto or anything this is, is this is just about the physical aspect of the trumpet So you, you hear me getting hung up on, on several of those. Uh, that's if you don't have time to warm up and you're just doing these first thing, you might experience some of that. It's not a big deal. Just keep your air moving and you're not goosing it. You're just trying to let the note go up with your tongue saying, ah, ee, ah, ee, ah. So you're just relaxing and blowing through. You're, it's like you put your hand on this table and you're moving it across the floor, okay? Also, you'll notice that I'm using all of the same fingerings. I'm not changing fingerings to move the note. It's all happening with, uh, with my chops, okay? <clears throat> Here it is from this angle so you can see uh, no fingers beams. Stop right there 
uh, and you can just keep it on your face if you're working on endurance without taking any breaks or you can take short little breaks and keep on going higher that works more on your range So that's the tip of the day for trying to get a little bit more endurance or range. Uh, let me tell you about Patrick mouthpieces. Having the right equipment makes all the difference in the world. You can practice as much as you want, but if you have equipment that's not working for you but against you, you're still going to struggle even if you're practicing a lot. So Patrick mouthpieces is a great resource for bigger mouthpieces that make your life easier or smaller mouthpieces that make other things easier. Um, also, lessons with studio musicians. If this is helpful to you and you want more instruction, check out the link below for lessons with studio musicians. I have a 12 part video series, actually 15 part video series uh, that are 15 to 20 minutes long that go through um, every aspect and the physical aspects of how you approach trumpet so that this is all like a finely tuned machine. So that's what you're looking for. Everything working together, your equipment and your practicing. All right, have a great day.